Uh, so I'm here with my buddy Dan, uh, and we're working on a bit of a collaboration. Uh, we've been working on it for about the past month or so. He's a friend of mine, we've known each other for about five or six years now, and I met him, he was traveling, and I was studying in Scotland, uh, and he's got a pretty interesting story. Yeah, so I lost the vision of my left eye when I was seven, and then um, in my, but I was able to drive and everything, driven on the Autobahn, I've done a lot of stuff like that. My right eye went, uh, just because I was working at a record store, the vision just kind of went. My vision at this point, it's like after after you have a shower and the, the mirror is all foggy, um, so you look into the mirror and take your hand and like streak on around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. So it's clearer on the outside of the vision, um, and then take a bar of soap and just go right through the middle of it, and that's where the scar tissue is from my my surgeries. Cross that with TV static. And incredibly short vision. Like, did you ever try those on? She had been drinking. Whoa. Yeah, apparently. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. So, on top of all my vision issues, since I'm totally blind in my left eye, I have no depth perception. So, with monocular vision comes, you know, you chuck a baseball at me, I'm gonna catch it with my face more than my hand, you know? <laughs> yeah, we met, we were traveling. Uh, Dan has very limited vision, and he solo traveled around. Europe with the sort of the full gamut of trains, buses, planes. That's confusing for anyone. Um, and he told me this technique he would use when he was in a transit hub just to get the schedules and know where he's going. So what I do, I, I take my, my phone out and I switch to the camera. And because it eliminates all depth issues and um, it's it's a much clearer image than, than what I can actually see with my, my own eyes, um, I can hold it at a comfortable distance and then just zoom in. It, it works and we make it work, but there are improvements to be, to be made. And I think that's kind of where our, where our crossover comes in. So it, really the simple invention of putting a high definition screen right in front of his eye where he can see was what we talked about. Uh, when we met up last, a couple months ago maybe, I realized I, I can actually make this now. So I started putting together with a Raspberry Pi module, there's something called the Pi Camera that plugs straight into the board. It's sufficiently pixeled to navigate, and then you need to find a screen that will work, and you need to find a way to get it in front of Dan's face. I've got a 3D printed enclosure, but maybe we'll just grab it and give it a try. Yeah, let's what do, do it. Let's have a <laughs> what do we have here? Okay, so we got a red Raspberry Pi here. Okay. Uh, this is the camera that plugs in. It's just, just weird. It's, it's tiny now. <laughs> Oh, okay, I can actually see 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 you a lot clearer. Okay, oh, look at you with your with your beard there and everything. Yeah, so I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. So you are actually getting some more detail from it. for sure. Sure, and like I can see detail like the the reflections on the really nicely polished wood floors here. <laughs> Thank you. He keeps a clean space. Let's have an example here. Do you have like playing cards? I have cards against humanity here. Yeah, okay, that's all right. So geese. It's a slippery slope that leads to former President George W. Bush. Dude, this is a silly goose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a bloody silly goose. Yeah, that's silly goose. Oh, gee, for every dollar I have, <laughs> that'd be a loony. Um, okay, no, that's 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 cool. So I don't actually really know how far that that was. It felt definitely further than no, for sure it was further. Um, so we've got. Okay. Do you want to try and fly a little drone? <laughs> Do you want me to try to fly a little drone? In fact, I do. Okay. Okay. So the latency is is well, Jesus Murphy. <laughs> the flying. Does it just hover? Yeah, it, it'll just hover. Holy. Oh my. Yeah. Okay, so following the drone is weird. I like how you've run away and left me to my fate. It's above me. I'm it's filming me. you. I will come rescue you if you would like. See oh, oh god, it's up in the ceiling. Is it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> right? I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I was following mostly with um, <laughs> hearing oh, yeah. and terror. Um, cool, that was that was cool. I mean, I think that's about as advanced of a demo as we could yeah, no, throw at it. That is, that is really cool though. So like. Simply looking around and everything mm -hmm. is um, like this. This is this is cool. Right. 
foot table. Okay. Who's that handsome man? I'm wearing my Fruit Loops shirt. Oh my god. It's <laughs> what a blind guy gets dressed in a hurry. And <laughs> Get your coffee maker there. So I can, like I said, I've never been here before. So like. The, the wobble and everything is, is a touch disorienting, but you know. I mean, these are things we can improve. Absolutely, for sure. Okay, so there's, so <laughs> blinders on the side would be a good idea. Uh, I can see, okay, you got string lights. I didn't even see those before. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a huge change, it, especially over if I went like this. Now it's, it's incredibly blurry, like, uh -huh. I can still get around because now I'm used. It's it's the depth perception I'm used to. So uh, we just had our field test. We played some cards against humanity. Uh, we introduced some airborne spinning knives in the form of a mini drone. Uh, and uh, Dan took a walk through my house. Yeah. And, uh, so we, that was the most successful person. The drone here. Yeah. yeah. What tried to kill me? I'm gonna see my assailant. <laughs> Jesus Murphy. But yeah, we, we tried all this stuff out, and um, I, w I would call it a like a definite solid start for sure. This phenomenal rig, this is cool. Like the portability mm -hmm. is is there for sure. And so yeah, this is by far of anything that I've tried the the best mm -hmm. uh, crack at it. So the fact that it made anything slightly easier, I think, makes it a success. Mm -hmm. And I I think we can improve. So like a, a add stability. And do everything I can to cut down on latency. Yeah, I think. And then we've got episode two. Yeah, for sure. We'll check out both our channels. Um, check out Three Points of Contact for sure. He's got videos where he was traveling Europe. He's got hikes. He's walking around windy battlements. He's like an extreme sports athlete. <laughs> three Points of Contact .ca and youtube.com slash three points of contact and uh what are we supposed to say as youtubers like and subscribe and favorite <laughs> yeah but i haven't said that yet but i don't know actually I, wonder, I was wondering names do you think seeing pie dog is too much of a stretch <laughs> i'm all for it we can you know or like maybe the all seeing pie the all the all <laughs> illuminati confirmed